I just figured instead of typing, it'd be easier and quicker to do it this way because there's kind of like a physical um, demo I got to do. Uh, the question was, what are some uh, good, no, great exercises for the lower abs? You know, where us moms have the kangaroo pouch. Ha ha. I'm over exaggerating a bit. Okay, so um, I think I think you can or you can emphasize the lower abs uh, a little bit more than the upper abs with certain exercises. You know, like uh, if you can get a nice hip roll on a hanging leg raise. Um, also, some really nice V sits where you actually um, you can support your legs a little bit with like a yoga band or a, or a rubber band and then that way your legs your legs are not so heavy that they're causing your lower back to arch. So here's what I'm going with this point. So, um, do, yeah, you're not gonna be able to tell there. So, okay. So what I'm talking about is if when you do your abs, okay, you start doing that, okay, that means that the front part is gonna pooch out, right? So, <laughs> so if you're standing, if you're standing there, and then all of a sudden your abs go, uh, I'm gonna try force them out there. Okay, so there we go. If they go out like that, that means you have a wicked arch going, okay? And that's what moms see a lot as um, either they've got a little bit too much fat here. But what I commonly see is it's not so much the fat. There may be a little bit of fat, but what happens is the posture comes forward, the bum goes back, see, and there's that arch there because they're wearing heels and all this stuff, and the lower belly pooches out. And what can happen is, I gotta get this a little bit lower here. There we go. What can happen is this angle in here, it gets closed, right? And when it closes, the belly comes out. Now, this is a huge exaggeration, okay? What you need to do is stretch your. <laughs> you need to stretch your uh, your hip flexors in here, so that you can open up this angle, and then it naturally gets flat. Okay. So if you're kinked up like an old man, then you need to stretch out your hip flexors. And how do you stretch your hip flexors? Well, you do. You can do the one where you split your legs out like this, right? And lean back like that, right? And you can also go into a lunge position can't really see it that much, but a lunge position, I'll go a little bit lower for you, okay? So you go into a lunge position, take the hip that's on the back leg, bring it around forward, and push your hips under and stay straight. So it's important to see here that I'm not letting this happen. I'm really trying to pull it in so that I get this kind of like hunched over position this way, which is also the same position you should get when you're doing doing your crunches, right? If you're starting to crunch and then you're starting to lay out like this, you're stretched. So that's where my feeling, the majority of what I see where the, um, where the, the little lower belly pouch comes out. Um, so exercises, anything where you can stay in a nice C posture so that you look like a C and not so that you're getting splayed out. Uh, things, you know, like crunches and stuff like that. But also, really, I wonder if I can get this one. And a bridge. If you do a bridge, but you kind of like drag your feet towards yourself, I wonder if I can get this at the floor. I can too. Bet you I'll get this. Okay, so this is totally on the fly. I'm sorry, folks, it's, this is a little bit odd. But, um, so if I'm, a lot of people you see will bridge like this. See, I got that tuck in there, right? Okay, but if I try to like drag my feet, I don't know if you saw that, but if I try to like drag my feet towards me, you might not see much happening as far as movement goes. But as you're trying to drag your feet in, what you're doing is you're hunching and contracting those abdominals. And that keeps you from getting the sway back, which does absolutely nothing, which you'll see in a lot of cardio classes. So you'll see someone doing the bridge and then they get tired uh, and see the arch come in. And then, oh, and then all the vertebrae get pinched and your abs aren't contracting. So uh, there's, there's just a quickie on um, lower abdominal stuff for moms and for old men. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go eat some steak.